Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, I left you guys uh, last time in the middle of nowhere with my Chevrolet. We were doing some uh, scouting and we'll continue doing that today. Unlocking some watchtowers as much as the fuel allows because to be honest, uh, we're running on uh, 33 liters left. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the drilling site has some fuel for us. That'd be nice. I'm not. Let's actually let's do this. Let's do a roundabout here. Maybe just maybe there's some fuel there for us to yoink. point with the how much speed the high low range gets you and basically how fast it still goes in the muck which is almost as fast as the first gear of auto uh, it's worth it to just keep the differential lock on uh, and go with a high low range unless you're actually having you know this kind of very clear terrain Switch out the all wheel drive if we don't really, really need it. Please. And of course, the moment I actually say, let's turn it off, I end up in terrain which I need to turn it on. <laughs> I think it's smart just to go around, to be honest. Let's not worry about this uh, tr triple train here. I have some fuel for us because otherwise we I don't think we have enough to actually visit that watchtower. Wow. This is mucky. Yeah, I'm skeptical. I'm entirely entirely skeptical. I see nothing here that we care about. And yeah, I know I was debating the pros and cons of actually having the top mounted extra 40 liters of fuel and I discounted it because I said okay we I can manage low fuel consumption. Uh, I mean I guess I can. I know for sure how much uh, this will take me. It's like 20 liters, right? Oh, wow. 20 liters will take me here if it would have been a straight shot, but this looks like terrible, terrible ground. <sighs> let's go around. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's not, right? We don't know exactly how much fuel we have in reserves and if we're going to be wasting equally as much just to get here, we might as well take a straight shot. So yeah, let's do this, let's do this. I'm pretty sure this doesn't translate to reality, but whatever. Um, let's do this and let's do this. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not one tree, there's more, but anything that allows us to winch on to would be nice. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be... Uh, the last uh, thing we do before we have to recover. I mean, you know, again, we're talking about uh, the hardcore people who played this game. And how they, uh, you know, stuff fueling points and stuff. I mean, it wouldn't really help me have more fun, if that makes any sense. Ooh, it's like it dipped over here on these rocks. To just re require me to um, spend more time doing logistics, right? Okay, that looks like a rock. I like rocks. Big, nice, flat rocks. 
Oh, that is not a rock. This is the muck. You know, I just saw it gloss like that and I thought, okay, for sure that's just the smooth rock, but it really, 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 really isn't. Thankfully, I mean, this truck is totally paying itself off by this point. I'm not even sure how much it costs with all the upgrades. I think it's like 70,000, 80,000 or something. Do we have any upgrades that we care about? Objective, let's do a launch observation just to show you guys something while that's running in the background. I guess not. We do have a flat bit trailer here. Hmm. A solid foundation. Solid foundation. Delivered to Norton's house. One concrete slab. Oh my lord. I mean, to get that concrete slab, you actually have to come in from the quarry. Or here, from, not, from the service hub. I remember I got some concrete slabs from somewhere. In the warehouse, right? I don't remember where the warehouse was. But there was a warehouse around here. Well, that's still a fair bit out the ways. Um, I commit to deliver, and it's right there. I'm, I don't need to pick up that quest. Mm, across the river. Deliver to Sherman. Oh, wow. Uh, cool. Cool. Okay, that's a cool quest. I actually was looking at this maybe like, okay, I can cross this if I need to, you know, get a quarry and do a short run here. But my lord, that's insane. Okay, fine. Uh, either way, we are kind of out of fuel at this point. Um, I'm not sure there's much I can still do. Um, I can come back here again, just try and do a straight shot. Uh, although I'm pretty sure I will not have enough fuel. Uh, just to get the XP unlock from uh, seeing that uh, trailer. It's like, I know, nothing, 50 XP or something, but it's better than uh, nothing, right? If we get stuck, we get stuck, and that's it, not a big deal. but some caution. I go straight to the middle of that muck. Okay, we have five liters to go 100 well, meters or something. Will that be enough? Will that be enough? Let's see, switch over to auto. Nope, that's not good. Switch over to the high range, fresh lock on. No attachment points. Just there we go. Just enough to get us through. Three liters to go. 75 meters. Come on, we can do this. Switch over to the auto range. Let's not find 23. Two liters. One liter. Oh, that was early. Uh did we get the XP for this? I think we did by this point. Or we already had it unlocked. Uh, okay, out of fuel. There's nothing I can do. Actually, there is something I can do. I can totally cheese this. Uh, well, not that actually surprised, but um, um, the steering still works.
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, for sure, we already had uh, that unlocked. So let's do this. Let's uh, re uh, recover. And oops. let's check out what we can do because we still have a lot of time in this episode. Hmm. We can try taking out this lost trailer here. Scout fuel carrier. Oh, so it's a scout fuel carrier. I thought it was like a actual trailer trailer. Huh. Well, actually that means we cannot use the pace star because the hitches are different. I could totally winch it, but... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this looks like a solid, well, I say solid, but like a, a good path up if we don't want to ford this entire side of the river here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's pre-scout it. Let's pre-scout it because we'll have to deliver the lost trader here anyway. If it's uh, unsuitable, that's fine. We'll take the long way around. Uh, yeah, let's the brush. Let's head out. Actually, um, let's have a look because we unlocked uh, an engine last time, right? Uh, all right. So it's just a slight upgrade, which would wow that wrecks. The part weight ratio. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, we don't really care. Let's use the bigger one. Uh, the 5.0 on engine, the one under this, seems a bit more reasonable because I don't think we really need that much power with this truck. I mean, we were spinning out in um, in mud. I mean, it's probably great for you know, hauling stuff, which we aren't really doing a lot of hauling with uh, with the Chevrolet. It's capable. We we did haul like uh, bricks, I think, at some point, and uh, you know surface materials uh, in the last episode to you know clear out the roadblock. So it, it totally can do it, especially through uh, muddy and mucky terrain. But you know, in those situations, uh, you would rather just get um, a, a, a true off-road truck if you have to actually have to manage cargo. It just doesn't seem all that uh, smart to get uh, to use this. I mean, there, there might be situations like a very tight uh, little section of road where you can we want to do that, but you know, I'd rather just go the longer longer way around for a you know safer, less troublesome route with uh, my pace star. as well. Let's refuel if we're still here. Who knows where those full liters of fuel will come in handy. And we were gonna check if there's a good route for us just to come down here from. Okay, is that trampoline there? Something I can totally push away with my truck? Or is that a super Oh, there we go. It's pushable. Great. Well, that bounced just right off of that. Okay, how does this look? This looks kind of terrible. The rocks are not gonna help. That's that's gonna be tip country. Nope, nope, no. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, let's go. Uh, actually, we do have a route on the left side here, so let's try that out for size. Uh, yeah. Okay. And let's take 
this easy. Let's try to put those rocks in the middle of our truck. I know I'm, I'm starting to put the parking brake on and that's horrible, but I was going to try just budging myself on forward. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's kind of bad. I can try... Hmm. Okay, am I truly and honestly stuck here? No. Come on, we've been through worse. This is nothing. This is utterly nothing. Let's scrape that cab a bit. Because the paint was way too glossy. Also, why is the tree bending the other way? Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's try flipping the truck over. That didn't exactly work how I wanted it to work, but it's fine. We can do this, and I think that's gonna do what we want. Okay, and now we can do this, and... There we go. That's us back on our wheels. Unless I spoke entirely too soon. No, I think that should be fine. Let's just do it again. Okay, there we go. That actually gave us back our engine. Okay, can we just do this? Oh wow, okay, perfect. We're back on our feet. At the very least, we guarantee that this will not be the route which we're going to be taking the trailer back up to. Uh, okay, I cannot see anything. Do I have any rear winch positions? I do not. Okay, let's try winching the rear truck here. We're out. We are out. Probably not the best way to go downhill, but it is what it is. Okay, okay, good, good, perfect, wonderful. Let's not tip. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfection. Because I had absolutely zero, well, one, thankfully, anchor points. Uh, okay, for sure we are gonna try... I mean, doing this isn't really smart either. Because it's so mucky, so muddy. It'll take us forever, I don't think we will even have enough fuel for this. Plus, it's tip center. This is way too tilted to actually drag a trailer through. Also, man, it's so mucky. I mean, we're barely making progress here. Wow. Uh, okay, that's not fun. Let's try going a bit higher up. The truck is now sinking into mud, but it is what it is. Let's do that. Let's break free. No, 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 no. Crap, crap. Okay, see what I mean? It's so tilted. It's It makes it super hard. Oh, 
on the upside, I think that's a fuel trailer, so we can totally nick its fuel. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is going really, really slowly. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's also switch the timeout. We've been playing a lot of uh, dark. Of uh, dark times at night, so let's switch over to some daytime. Now, on the bright side, this is a fuel trailer. On the downside, we're here. I mean, I can see a path up here. It's not very rocky. It seems doable. We can totally use this route here if we really, really need to. But well, either way, let's. Uh... this in. Okay, attached trailer. Okay, that's attached. And at this point, we can refuel it if we really, really want to. But on the downside, we actually have to get out of here. This actually does look kind of practicable. The lack of uh, rocks is great just because I won't bounce everywhere or lose footing. However, wow, okay, I actually have to go all the way down to the low range, low range, just to get enough grip to pull us out. But yeah, as you can see, we're maybe skipping just a bit here, so I think it may just be a tiny case of too much power, but I mean, even with the trailer in the back. Okay, either way, that was solved. Let's uh, take it between these two trees here. Let's go to a normal low range because I think we are fine at this point. Let's try going straight up here. Slow and steady. Keep that gearing fixed. And just go straight up. Then we hit those little pebbles, you see the truck just bouncing around as well as, you know, maybe losing a bit of grip. So that's why we had so much problems in the first... Uh, oh, do we have any problems now? No, we don't. But that's why we have so many problems uh, going down when we dropped in at the beginning of this episode. But... When that's not a factor. Okay, where are we? <laughs> okay, we're here. So we can totally do this, 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 and then deliver the truck. Cool. Okay, just some little water here. Shouldn't be a big deal. Just power on through. There we go. Whew, this was harder than I thought it would be, but harder <laughs> just in regards to getting there. You know, it just goes to show how much you should not trust the map itself and trust the visual scouting a lot more. I could easily tell that you know that path was climbable when I saw it, but uh, if I look at the map, it looked impracticable, and the other one which went through seemed fine, but just going there looked uh, entirely terrible with those rocks. Either way, I'm back on the main road, and that was a successful recovery. Ooh, is there a trailer? Special task. And we have to deliver it somewhere else. It here. I've already brought the trailer back. Good job. Thank you, preacher. That's 180 XP and some measure of cash, which at this point that's not a limiting factor. Um, let's have a bit of uh, time in this episode, so let's uh, just 
do a bit of logistics. Uh, let's grab this uh, trailer here, which is ours. Uh, and let's take it back home. And that's how you make little trailer babies. Which, now that I say it, seems classist and racist. <laughs> I was just honestly talking about uh, the trailer and the truck, just the gelling together. Is this the right way? Or are we going a horrible, horrible way? We are going a horrible, horrible way. Municipal Dam, apparently the flood thing that happened was like across Michigan, it wasn't just uh, in uh, Black River. And it's, it's so weird to be interested in the lore and the story of this place. But, well... Is this the garage? Yeah, it's the garage. Because uh, it's so close to the service hub, uh, kind of makes me uh, double check myself. Trailer store, sell, exit, recover, yes, and you know what guys, I think that is about it for today, uh, let's check out the local map, see what we're going to be doing next time, kind of feel we should be doing uh, something with a bigger truck, we've been uh, scouting for a fair bit now, uh, getting these uh, cement things, that might be cool. Uh, I, I can see it. I can see me doing this with uh, the Paystar with a little crane and a flatbed, and uh, also using a two slot flatbed trailer. So uh, basically, we can get all of these in one go, but we can just leave the, tra leave the trailer behind somewhere here. And then, uh, oh yeah, actually, the delivery point is even close enough, so it shouldn't be that. Actually, I'm not even going to get the trailer, just because it's so close, you can totally just get two of them, drag them there, and then take the other ones. Uh, but yeah, that was about it for today. If you liked this episode, uh, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Even leave a comment below if you really, really, really liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one.